Okay, we've got a box. We've got a box. We've got a box here. So we're gonna start this. So welcome back to Dao Punk uh, Tai Chi and all of this good stuff. We are here to review another set of lightsabers from Rebel Sabers. Uh, I hope to God the sound is working and we don't lose things like we did last time. Um, so I'm going to. Uh, so I am looking at this as lightsabers for classes to teach children. So that's kind of my big intention, is that these lightsabers are for kids, so they can learn Tai Chi and Wushu stuff safely, and so it's not as dangerous as some of the, you know, metal or wooden weapons that we would have, even staffs. Like, I think this is safer and better for parents to monitor their kids. And my heater kicked on, which was really loud, so I wouldn't turn that off. Um, so yeah, so what this is, is a uh, Youngling Special. Yeah, the Youngling Special from Rebel Sabers. And so it is supposed to be two lightsabers in one. The idea is, uh, and where I got this is, um, a lot of... There are a lot of two children households and this all together was 160 for two different lightsabers and that would be good for two kids and two classes uh, all together. So that's kind of my idea behind this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna test this out. And also, uh, apparently these are supposed to link together to form a staff, which is also another thing we can review and we can talk about how that staff compares to a staff or a spear or other things that we would do for Wushu. Um, get some Ray Park. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoy those styles. The Darth Maul style is fun. So we can talk more about that. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of Chinese stuff in the uh, Darth Maul sort of a side ventress feels. Um, now I'm not as versed at things like uh, Yaido or Kendo or the Japanese. But I am down for the Chinese stuff and uh, you can come and talk to me about uh, the Chinese sabers and staffs and things like that. So, but yeah, I'm going to open this lightsaber up and see what's going on with this. Ah, uh, extra tape. There was extra tape. Here we have our Youngling Special, right here. Sure. All right. Cool beans. We have lightsabers here. So first off, we have blades. Lightsaber blades are always a good thing. Now I have a few of these. These actually hold up really well, comparatively. Like, I am actually quite happy. Uh, I will show you a comparison between the one I previously bought, um, and you can see how much damage it's taken. I have uh, smacked that thing uh, uh, around quite a bit, and uh, these things hold up actually quite well. So, we have that. Two blades for the pairs. Then, oh wow, okay. I think we have, wow, okay, this is just amazing. Yeah, so it's really wonderful. Uh, okay, we have these really nice cards that also came in the other set that I really enjoyed. These are good explanations on how to deal with a lot of screws. Oh, there seems to be extra things in there, like thumb screw adjustments. Okay, we'll check that out later. That's pretty cool. Got both of those. Then I have a couple of other things. Um, charging cables, super important. Then there are a couple of other things that have nothing to do with the Youngling special, so we'll talk about those at another thing, but extra bonuses. So now, for the main event, the things that everyone wants to see is the hilts. And so we're gonna talk about what the hilts look like. 
I'm quite curious. Okay. So I did order them black. You see, this is very dark black. And it really does look a lot like the Justicar one that I already have without a cut, which is not bad. Um, I believe I'm gonna have to look up what the names of these are specifically. Um, but yeah, it's got a coupler on the end. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice lightsaber. This is, put that one to the side. So this is the second one. It's another, get a little bit of tape on it, that's okay. This is the second one. I really like that. It's got a very different emitter sort of plug on the top. Similar workings. These, I like how dense these feel. These are nice and dense. Um, now, yeah, um, I would pretty much say that everything except for the emitters are basically the same, which is actually pretty cool. Like, okay. So yeah, basically it looks like everything from here down is the same. So if you look, I'm trying to adjust it for you so that these just look just right. So yeah, they look balanced. They look pretty much the same, which is pretty cool. And it looks like a lot of the parts are fairly interchangeable. I can go in and do more detailed stuff later. Um, but yeah, this is the lightsaber. So I assume, yep, there we go. So you take the emitter off. We've got one emitter there. expecting it to be like that. So I don't know if this emitter actually comes off. This one specifically. This one is removable, but um, I'm worried if I create this too much harder, I'll break it. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if that's one piece. Play with that later, but I'm thinking that might be one piece. Because the brake isn't in the same place. It's kind of a different looking soundboard. Yeah, even different colored soundboards. Um, okay, different colored chassis. Similar boards, I think. Interesting. The batteries are exactly the same. Huh. Yeah. The more fluked looking one does not come off. Okay. Well, now for the, also the additional thing that most people have been waiting for. The fact that these are supposed to stick together. Okay, so yeah, uh, they couple together. Gonna have to say, this is pretty cool. It's asymmetrical, but uh, it's not terrible. So that's already an interesting thing, is that this one has two retention screws on this side. And uh, I think the other one has a bunch more spaces for retention screws. I like retention screws. I like my blade not to fly across my living room, which has happened before. So it looks like there's some nice thumb plugs. on them. So there's a more flute looking one. I think this is the Jakar Defender and the other one is the, uh, I'm trying to pull up the name right here. Or Jakai Defender. And the other one is this, I think this one is the 
stalwart. Stalwart because it's heavier, I guess, is the idea. So yeah, let's see. Power up. Okay. That is always a good feeling when you turn on. Super glowing. in the camera. Okay, so we finally got one red, which is usually how I like it. So, they don't really match. Couplers at the end. So we got a light staff now. Is the staff pretty fun? I think the kids will like them. It's the price, they're reasonable. Um, one seems to not have a lot of sound function, but I'll probably go into that in my in depth stuff later. Um, you know, these things are running out of batteries, so I need to charge them anyway before I give it a full evaluation. Uh, but yeah, for unboxing and opening, I'm you know, reasonably satisfied for 160 bucks. Really, it's not bad. Um, great for kids, and I really like the blades on these. Uh, these are winning me over. But yeah, the stuff coupler is pretty fun. So yeah, not bad. Young Wing special apparently. So yeah, pretty fun. Yeah.